Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, and living the green lifestyle. I'm Ted Brunson. On today's show, we've lined up topics covering the energy-efficient home, a favorite subject of us here on the show. We'll take a look at home heating and cooling and a new building material that is not only efficient, but sustainable. Add it all up and you're living a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So let's get started and think green. These pine trees remind me of when Think Green went to central Washington's wine country to check out how some new building techniques and materials are creating stronger, more sustainable structures that help create more efficient households. So what's the future of the building? Well, check it out. New technologies and building concepts that are environmentally friendly and sustainable are leading the way to stronger, better homes and buildings. As wood and steel prices continue to rise, contractors look to these new building materials to not only keep costs under control, but to provide homes and structures that are efficient, safe, and eco-friendly. Think Green met up with Dale Seens, CEO and President of Apex Block Corporation, at the site of a new home being built using Apex Blocks which are unique from most other insulated concrete form building materials. There's no other product like the Apex Block and there is no other concept that incorporates its same product that can be a wall system, a ceiling system, and go multi-stories. And literally one block does it all. The block is made out of 85% of what we call expanded polystyrene. Your coffee cups made out of it, your cooler chests are made out of it, etc. We grind that up, we mix it with cement and a non-toxic binder, which is a green product, and we compress that and we mold it. This home construction site in Benton City, Washington is not your typical new home, but maybe how homes will be built in the future. It is designed to include a safe room within the structure that is capable of withstanding an F5 tornado. For about $800 to $1,200, we can go from the slab to the ceiling, and you can have a, ro a room that can withstand F5 tornadoes or level 4 hurricanes, your house will be there. You might lose your roof, might, but for one thing, the walls are going to stay there and your family is safe to live the next day after that disaster goes through and start life again. So basically, if Dorothy had been in the Apex Block House, we'd have no Wizard of Oz. The versatility of using this type of building material is endless, including its interlocking keystone system. Whether it's hurricanes or fire or wind-driven rain or cold, the weather will not go up and around the block. The exterior, made with apex blocks, allows this operational envelope to function 65% more efficiently at a home or a business. Our block doesn't have to be glued all, on all the seams. We simply stack it, we put a light tacking of, of foam, and then we move on. So when our block gets poured with concrete, the block actually locks in tighter, becomes structurally stronger. We can reduce the consumption of electricity, fossil fuels being consumed, coal-fired plants. So if you insulate with Apex Block, not just insulate, construct with it, you're taking your energy costs and the energy grids down. It means a tremendous amount. We, we're not wasting resources. People are in control. And for once, we're looking at the environment as something that we're in harmony with instead of tearing down and destroying. And Apex Block is a dream for any construction worker. Construction workers and those that are educated both in masonry and carpentry skills, they have the basic skill set of plumb, true, and square. If you can master that, you've already mastered the Apex Block. When it came to purchasing Apex Blocks, Dale had a revelation in the middle of the night. What inspired me to go with this company and to take it to the next level, I was at a point in my, my own personal life where I was readjusting and re-examining and I thought to myself, I went to bed one night and I said, of all the companies I've either invested into or I've had clients invested to, what one would I want to take and, and take it over and buy it and take it to the next level? Had no idea. Completely clear mind, went to bed, 2.30 in the morning, 
boom, my eyes opened up. I knew it was Apex Block. Nine months later, bought the company. Dale likes to reflect on life in quiet places and where better to go than a vineyard. This is Washington State, after all. You have to get to peaceful moments in your life that when you get rid of all the clutter, that you actually tap into it. And I don't think enough of us take the time and spend the time just to be able to, to formulate thoughts and then relax and then let that pure intelligence flow. What matters most is finding ourselves and spending time and that important time with friends and close family members. You know, that's what life's about. The grand finale, pouring the concrete is eagerly awaited by everyone. Just some final touches and the concrete pouring process is completed. Go to designingspaces.tv where you can also see this part of the show again or review any of the topics on Think Green and Designing Spaces. Join in the conversation on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash dspaces TV. We all want clean water and a healthy ecosystem. We also want to find ways to lower our costs of living while running an efficient household. Well, the new technologies are here now, and they are improving our lifestyles and the environment. So let's move forward together towards a healthier world. For Designing Spaces Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.